Did you hear about the release of Stable Diffusion, the AI that was released just this August? Our new AI darling of the art world is pretty incredible, don't you think? But what is Stable Diffusion and who brought it to our world? Let's dive right in. Stable Diffusion is a deep learning text-to-image algorithm developed by a collaboration of CompViz, the Computer Vision Research Group at Ludwig Maximilian University of Munich, and a startup called Stability AI. The main idea is, you write a prompt, and the AI sprawls through the internet to find art pieces that might fit your prompt and comes up with something completely brand new. Another one of Catherine Croson's babies, Stable Diffusion is the best one out there yet. With only 890 million parameters, it uses much less VRAM than its ancestors DALL-E2 and Imogen. So you can actually run it on consumer-grade graphics cards. While we entered the age of AI-driven image generation a year and a half ago, Stable Diffusion will definitely pioneer an era of AI-driven art pieces. All of the previous Diffusion-based models like DALL-E and Imogen have become so good at image generation that I honestly cannot believe they're just some code at times. But there was always a tiny little problem. We never got to see what goes on behind the scenes, i.e. the code behind it. That's where Stable Diffusion wins the race. Yes, fellows, this AI is indeed an open source one, and I can't even begin to explain how amazing this is. You could literally take the code and play around with the initial parameters to your liking, something you could never do prior to this. Now a little bit of the downside, our best friend and enemy, copyrights. You see how Stable Diffusion would dive into every corner of the internet to find relevant art pieces and combine them to make a new one. Here's the million dollar question, who would credit for that artwork? The AI? The one who entered the prompt? The original artist? Makers of the AI? And are we breaking any laws by literally using other art pieces out there to make a completely new one? CEO of Stability AI, Imad Mostakiu, addressed the issue by saying, it is people's responsibility as to whether they are ethical, moral, and legal in how they operate this technology. But let's not lose our minds here just yet. The AI just got released, so infringement and usability laws will probably follow. For now, head on out to the Stable Diffusion demo free version and have a play around. Maybe you'll get some inspiration to create real-life art of your own from an AI. It's a technological world after all.